Hello, my name's Cami from MedicMind. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Birmingham. And today I'm gonna to talk you through how to write a great introduction to your medicine personal statement. Starting the personal statement off can be one of the hardest parts. So as I've mentioned in other videos, I definitely recommend starting with the main body, perhaps whatever bit you're most interested in, such as the extracurricular bit for me. So after writing all of your text out on all your work experience, your academic achievements, and your extracurriculars, you're gonna have a much better idea of how to talk about your introduction and your motivation for medicine. So what should I include in my introduction? So there are four main things that you want to think about for your introduction. So firstly, why are you interested in medicine as a science? So here you could focus on say the physiology, anatomy or pharmacology, perhaps anything you've been doing extra reading in. It's good to mention specific examples, but try not to talk about your books or your academic achievements or anything here because that's going to need to go in the main text. So next you're going to want to link this to medicine as a profession. So you could mention here the clinical aspect, perhaps working as a team and how it's quite patient-centred, as these are quite vital and key things in medicine. But remember to state why you want to do this as part of your career. There are plenty of other jobs out there, so you need to show why medicine is the one for you. So the reader should be gripped by your enthusiasm. It has to be passionate. So next is writing style. As I've already said, your writing needs to be fascinating and passionate. The admission staff that are reading your personal statement have probably already read hundreds and hundreds, so yours needs to stand out and you need to keep them reading. An important point here is to show that you have a good understanding of medicine as a whole. So lots of people might use quite idealistic writing in their introduction. So for example, saying medicine is my dream or um, medicine is the perfect career for me. Medicine is not a perfect career for anyone. There's negative aspects and not everyone will love everything about medicine. It is a challenging course and a challenging career. So you need to show that you've looked into all the negative aspects and perhaps what will challenge you and how you can deal with that in the future. Finally, give examples. Now, you don't wanna to put too many in here because you're gonna to want to keep them for the main body of text and you don't have that much space in your introduction. But it might be a good idea to drop in maybe one example here. So for example, if you're really interested in the science of medicine, instead of saying, I have always been interested in the workings of the human body. This sounds a little bit bland and it doesn't give much reasoning and it definitely doesn't sound very passionate. So instead of this, you could say, from an early age, I've been fascinated by the workings of life. The human body is a remarkable machine with many diverse systems producing an organism that could never be artificially reproduced. So this is a much more insightful answer and it gives all the reasoning and it's so much more interesting and people who are reading your personal statement will definitely want to ask about the things you've brought up in this answer in your interview. As I've mentioned in previous videos, in your introduction, you can mention some personal anecdotes if you have a good experience in healthcare or in hospital, perhaps from when you were younger or growing up, or if your family member has had a particularly poignant experience, but do avoid cliches, try to make it realistic and make sure it shows that you have a good understanding of medicine as we've already talked about. Always remember to link it back to how it will make you a great medic. So I hope that you now have a better idea on how to write your introduction. Be sure to get in contact with the Medic Mind team if you need any help. They are always on hand to help. So thanks for watching, best of luck in writing your medicine personal statement and I'll see you in our next video on how to write about your work experience.